welcome to our new series for 2022, Cleaning Under the Microscope. I am going to be going around the home and showing you guys the hidden dirt on our everyday objects by using this, a microscope. We will then be cleaning the items that I've shown you and go back in with the microscope to see if my cleaning methods have done the job. Strap in guys and get ready for the ick. This is cleaning under the microscope. The first thing in our home that is gonna be cleaned under the microscope is the vacuum. Here's the thing when it comes to our cleaning appliances, and this applies to our vacuums, our dishwashers, our washing machines. These things are gonna clean at their optimum ability if we look after them and we keep them clean also. So while it sounds a bit counterproductive and a lot of us think, well, its job is to clean, it doesn't really need cleaning because that's what it's there to do. They do need some love and attention and a cleaning touch. A lot of us, when it comes to our vacuum cleaners, will do the following. We will take the canister off or the bag out, whichever one you've got, empty the dust compartment into our bin and then normally we will literally just pop that back on and as far as we're concerned, the vacuum is now clean, it's good to go because the dirt within the canister is gone. However, we are so wrong when it comes to doing this and I'm going to show you exactly why right now. Before we take a look at the dust canister and how it looks now we have removed the dirt from it, let's take a closer inspection into the dirt that lurks within our vacuum. Can we all say, Karen, Karen, I've got a cat with no pulse here. Look at the state of what I have dragged out of the vacuum. Inside the vacuum, you will find things like dust, debris, hairs, carpet fibers. You might even find some pet food that you vacuumed up. Now we've established what is within our vacuums and what is being stored there, let's take a look over the whole vacuum now as it stands and see what else lies beneath the microscope. The first thing I am looking into is the filter. This is what is going to make your vacuum suction at its best. If this is really mucky, like my one is, you are going to want to clean it. Wrapped around this, there was lots of hair, lots of cat fur, and lots of dust that had accumulated and built layer upon layer upon layer. Moving on to the canister itself, this is the stuff that I found on the base of the canister. It's stuck on there. Again, there's lots of dust. There is some food particles as well stuck on there. We do not want this in our vacuums. Now we're looking at the base of the vacuum itself. This is where all the dirt and debris get sucked up into and a lot of the carpet fibers, cat fur, human hair, all of this has got lodged in there and it needs cleaning out. Cleaning our vacuums is so simple. We don't have to overcomplicate it and it is quite a quick task to do, particularly if you're staying on top of it and you're doing it regularly. So the first thing we wanna do when it comes to cleaning our vacuums is we want to make sure that we dismantle all the pieces that can be cleaned. This will vary depending on what vacuums we've got. I am using my Shark Duo Clean for this demonstration, but check what vacuum you've got and see what things can be actually removed from the vacuum and immersed into our water solution. I am now going to mix up our solution and for this, we are going to be using some warm water and some dish soap. <laughs> Once you've made up your solution, go along and place one by one 
the different things that you want to clean within your bucket of dish soap and it's handy at this point to have some sort of tool that will get into the crevices like these sections here for this i'm using my oxo good grips but you can go ahead and use an old toothbrush as well and just immerse it into your solution and then we're going to give it a really good scrub To, once you have washed all of the parts down from your vacuum, you can go ahead and soak them in some Sephora. This is going to disinfect them. are feeling the cleaning satisfaction. When it comes to cleaning the filters, these spongy parts, you can either do them by hand like I am, or you can actually put them in a laundry bag and put them through your washing machine. This helps them to dry a lot quicker, and this is a better option in my opinion. However, time was not on our side, so I opted for hand washing them. tackle any crevices within your vacuum as well there will be lots of dust and dirt that will linger here needs to be cleaned regularly. This will stop the vacuum from performing at its best if it is clogged with dust and hair. Let's look over my cleaning efforts and see how well I've done on cleaning up the vacuum. First up, we have got the spongy filter. As you can see, this is the before and look at that after.
video. If you did, go ahead and click the like button and give it a big thumbs up. If you are new here and you are enjoying the Haley's Help content, then go ahead and click subscribe and also click the bell notification. This will notify you next time we upload a brand new shiny vlog. Let me know in the comments, guys, what you would like to see cleaned under the microscope. And until then, team, as always, keep it clean.